Good afternoon everybody, this is Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop and another tutorial. Well, uh, I'm trying to go over correspondence and get caught up and I think this is the way I'm going to handle it going forward. Somebody emailed me uh, the other day. I'm assuming that it's somebody who's new to VCarve and or Aspire since they do work in conjunction for this, for this particular uh, tutorial. And they wanted to know what the difference was between a 2 and a 2.5 dimensional engraving. So we'll get right straight to it. Here's a copy of my VCarve Pro and I don't own Aspire but this would most certainly be applicable within Aspire. Alright, we're going to create a new file and for the sake of this example uh, we're going to make an office sign. We're going to make it not only in two dimension but also a 2.5 dimensional engraving. Okay, so right off the top of my head I'm going to use a piece of one inch thick we're going to make it uh, a one by six, so we know that it's going to be five and a half inches wide. We're going to start it out as 16 inches long. I start my z-axis off the top. Like I said, it's a one inch piece of material. My datum and my starting point is always in the center of my material. My unit of measure in the United States is inches. We're going to, uh, we're going to skip down to our text and we're going to draw text. Now for the example of this, I am going to be using a new font that I've been playing with, I kind of like it, it's called Gullum, G-U-L-I-M, if, if I'm pronouncing it right. And we're going to do everything in caps, we're going to spell out office, I want the height of my text to be three and three quarter inches high, I also want my text to be bold. I'm going to click apply, now let's close it out. As I can see, I am I have overextended on the width of my material. I'm going to go back up here to my set job dimension and I'm going to up this to 18.0 inches. I'm not going to adjust anything else other than the width of my material. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to highlight my font. I am going to come over to transform objects and align selected objects and we're going to get this to the center of the material dimensionally everything from end to end, top to bottom, everything is perfectly centered. Now we're going to open up the tool pass function. I am going to go in and because of this particular font, we can give you another, exa another example here, but due to the nature of this font, everything has a radius edge. We're going to click on our pocketing tool path. I'm going to do this as an offset in a conventional cut direction. I am going to set my cut depth at 90 thousandths and I am going to use a quarter inch two fluted end mill. So let's set this in here and we're going to call this Office 2D. Now this is going to mill out I feel rather quickly. We're going to click calculate. Now we can see the lines here have stayed within the font itself. Therefore it is only going to mill directly into the wood. Let's close this out and take a closer look at this. Let me make sure we got some, uh, we got some toolpath colors here. We're going to preview all the toolpaths. Okay, here we go. Now, let me click on this. Now if I bring him up, you can see the depth that he's cut into and that renders our two-dimensional engraving. Now, Steve, how do we make this a 2.5? We're going to use the exact same toolpath function which will be a pocket except this time let's uncheck this. We're going to come over here to create a vector we're going to box in office. Alrighty. We can see that we are 18 by 5.5. We click apply. We close it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up another pocketing toolpath function. This time though I think I'm going to want because ultimately what's going to happen is we're going to mill out everything around the letters but we're not going to actually engrave the letters themselves. We're going to pull all the material around all this down to our cut depth and I'm going to set that for 125 thousandths for the sake of this example. Now again we'll label this office 
office, okay, and we're going to call this 2.5D for 2.5 dimensions. Now I'm going to highlight everything. We've got the box highlighted around the material, and we've got our font highlighted. We're going to click calculate. And I spelled office wrong. Go figure. Okay, there we are. We're going to close this out, and now we only want to preview the 2.5, but you can see that the font is left, the toolpath ran all the way around this, and basically it's going to, to leave our letters raised, all right? Let's reset the toolpath. We only want to preview this visible toolpath. It's going to eat everything around what we programmed in. Let me set this so that we can see it. Or if we wanted, we could uh, we could also change our material color to something like a solid color. And we'll set our material color to red. Okay? Now at this point, everything, if we look at this, and let me let me click on the uh, we can see the tool path, all the paths that have gone around and around and around. Again, the material is eaten down and away from the from the font that you choose, and it elevates and raises the letters up. That is a 2.5 dimension. I think going forward, like I said, as I have questions come in, we're going to do just real quick five, six minute tu tu tutorials like this, excuse me, and I'll end up emailing the link to this video to the individual, to the gentleman who inquired about this, and we'll have this in the, uh, in the tutorial section for everybody else to kind of have a, a better comprehension, especially the new folks starting out, okay? Well, I hope this helped. Everybody, please stay tuned. We've got more to come, and as always, thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. All righty. Take care. Have a great day.